hello and welcome back to my channel so now I've been on YouTube for three years so thank you very much for all my subscribers for being with me this thumbs up is for you guys so what I got today for you is this beautiful BMW X4 it's a 2015 model it's 3 liter M Sport model so it has plenty of power this car has plenty of space and it has also a beautiful interior as well this guy only for over two years so we'll be able to also tell you his experience and uh, whether you should look for one car like this for yourself let's go the engine uh, haven't caused any problems for this owner at this moment uh, but there is an outstanding recall for this car which is to do with the EGRs there were issues when this car potentially can uh, set on fire uh, this engine produces uh, just short of 260 brake horsepower a uh, very powerful engine near 200 kilometers per hour in 5.8 seconds so very nippy car so imagine on the stage one remap this can bring even closer to five seconds gap so this, this car has uh, over 500 liters of space and you can also fold these seats and you also have some wonderful storage uh, here for your uh, bits and bobs for your uh, tire pump and uh, other stuff yeah so you have a smart box uh, side and uh, also access to your uh, battery so electrically closed so also has a rear view camera So, uh, two exhaust pipes, uh, rear parking sensor. Yeah. Look at this interior. All looking very, very nice. All in white leather. Yeah. So, also has a Harman Kardon sound system for your premium Logic 7 surround sound. And the front. So also indicators on your mirrors, your X Drive 30D badge, the M Sport. And uh, on the front you see the black uh, grill for BMW. Very strong uh, looking car in front. Looking uh, very nice and aggressive. alloy wheels so on the front we convert to 45 45 r19 and uh, on the back we have a different size uh, the wider tires are 275 40 r19 so uh, and these are actually the tires i can recommend uh, the owners and they are very uh, nice uh, grips very well uh, nine pound uh, all season tires the 200 pound on each corner so not too bad of a price to be honest so uh, a red line in the middle here and you also have an x on uh, every headdress here if you look the same you will see at the back as well yeah and the same uh, red and white stripes you will see at the back here all looking very very nice your multi-story car parks if you want the want to crush your uh, boot lid so you can regulate it just from here like a um, BMW Grand Turismo that we filmed in the past, yeah, so your height of your boat so you don't damage your boat lid, you know, very very interesting feature so again for your uh, parking, uh, you can disable your parking sensors again from here and uh, uh, one other thing so for vehicle information, uh, you have your vehicle status, uh, you can check your uh, oil level uh, you can so perform your uh, tire pressure reset, uh, engine oil level, uh, service requirements. So as you can see, everything is in tip-top condition here. And uh, check control as well, yeah. So no faults. So all very, very handy. And your X drive status, for example, yeah, shows your angles uh, when you uh, driving off-road. Uh, all very nice and uh, easy functions. Again, this car is not very popular for off-road driving. Uh, however, with the right tires, I think this car will be uh, 
will not disappoint you as well so you also have your uh, hill descent control park uh, from uh, bottom just here which I showed you before as well yeah and uh, so also for your sport display uh, you have your uh, power and the torque shown just from here as well looking very very cool and uh, all these features can be uh, additionally sorry also addition, additional features can be controlled from your mobile phone uh, for example your lights uh, your uh, uh, fan speed uh, vehicle on and off uh, can be controlled from your smartphone all very cool features and it also has a GPS tracking so if you need to check where your car is located at this current moment you can also check that as well so all very nice and technological and advanced here so so now we'll take this car for a test drive and uh, all you need to do is press the button here on the side and bring it into the drive and off we go This engine is very, very smooth. So I hear uh, that two liter engines at times uh, can cause some problems for its drivers uh, because they are trying to get literally impossible out of their cars. So even though it's on the M Sport and the car is light, I don't think on a two liter diesel engine, uh, you can do the same as you can do on a three liter engines, yeah? so be very very careful yeah you can feel straight away this car has a lot of power very smooth uh, gear change so I believe this car actually has also uh, same ZF uh, gearbox like uh, on my Maserati uh, which is very very smooth very responsive so ultimate driving machine I think this is the right way to describe this car so uh, once you are in BMW it's uh, quite hard to change it for something else now double click track mode When you are uh, driving during the day, your uh, mirrors turn black, so uh, you don't get uh, blinded uh, with the sun. Uh, it's just an excellent feature, I find it as well. So all very interesting, yeah, that's looking very, very cool. Taking a very sharp corner, now we're going up the hill. This car is very fast. And look at these sport torque displays, They're looking amazing. Look at that. So if you guys want to visit this place, yeah, so we don't want to go too fast. We don't want to break the speed limits here. So you will need to watch out your speed, because it's quite easy to get yourself some penalty points. So you will need to be very, very careful. So guys, we are currently at the race course uh, in uh, Beverly. So it's... Uh, very interesting place if you want to come and visit if you are up to horse racing so in the summertime you will see a lot of cows crossing in this place so looking very nice so now we can uh, we're approaching national speed limit so we can uh, change for your driving modes so uh, we can uh, choose between Eco Sport or Sport, so I'm going for a Sport now. And the car responsiveness changes immediately. <laughs> yeah, response immediately. So, and I believe you can go for a um, Sport Plus as well on this one. Uh, you bring it forward again. Be very careful because uh, we can quickly get in trouble for driving too fast because I only have one driving license yeah and again because this car 
is uh, very low and it's a uh, coupe style uh, same like BMW X6 it grips road very very well obviously it doesn't have as much room as uh, you would have in your BMW X3 yeah? for example but then your BMW X3 will not look anywhere near as good as BMW X4 Woo! off we go very responsive car so yeah for this this current owner um, already having a third BMW in a row it has a BMW 5 series uh, in a E60 model uh, then he was going for a BMW 5 series Gran Turismo and then he was testing a BMW X6 and we tested actually two of them and uh, then I couldn't compromise between his misses so uh, they went for a BMW X4 excellent choice so uh, but I think for uh, bigger drivers this guy might be too small because the uh, seats and the uh, rear uh, space might be a little bit on the downside for a bigger drivers yeah uh, but again how often uh, do you take a big drivers uh, how often do you take uh, big guys in your car, yeah? So, very nimble. I need to watch my speedometer all the time. I think I will feel I will get into trouble very quickly. That screen quality of this car is looking excellent. Look at that. Speed cameras. No. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, change your speed with your paddle shifters. Yeah, bring it up and down. Uh, but I'm not using them too often. Uh, but here, BMW drivers uh, use them all the time. Yeah, when they have it. So you can also check for your Sport Plus, and it gives you even more responsiveness. Look at that. I mean, it just flies. So sit seating position in like every BMW is perfect. So as for me, I think uh, the only thing I'm not big fan of from BMWs is uh, dials. Uh, but you also have an option uh, to have your digital dials now nowadays, yeah. And uh, they are just literally competing with each other: BMW, Audi, and uh, Mercedes. Uh, one brings the next model, will bring it better. The next one brings a new model, again it's even better and they surprise uh, how uh, good these and uh, how much detail there is in the speedometer. Your virtual cockpits and uh, for BMW and the Mercedes Me system and the uh, Hey BMW, all these cool features in new BMWs are also very very excellent. Yeah? So thank you very much guys for watching this video and if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment in the comment section and again uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.